Two quarters down, two quarters to go. The second half of BYU women's basketball is about to begin. Here's Jason Shepard on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Cougars in the half on a 10-0 run. They lead by 10. 32-22 is your halftime score. Welcome back courtside here at Great Southern Bank Arena in Springfield, Missouri. It is the Lady Bear Classic. Cougars playing Missouri State yesterday, taking on the Nevada Wolf Pack today. BYU wrapping up non-conference play today against Nevada. Will not play again until the 30th of December when we begin Big 12 play. Cannot wait for BYU's first game in the Big 12. We will be in Fort Worth and facing the TCU Horn Frogs. Time now for our Wilner and O'Reilly Laws of the Game feature. So according to Section 22, Article 4 of the rule book, which details or which deals with uniforms, opposing team uniforms shall be of contrasting colors. The home team shall wear light game jerseys and game shorts, and the away team shall wear dark game jerseys and game shorts. This rule may be altered, however, it has to be altered and agreed to mutual consent of the competing institutions as long as the color of the jerseys and the shorts are contrasting. So as long as both teams agree and that the colors are contrasting colors, you do not have to have the home team white and the dark team with or the home team with the darker jersey. However, that is our situation here today. BYU is considered the home team. They're in the home whites, trimmed in royal. And you have Nevada in the navy blue, trimmed in white. And that is our Laws of the Game feature brought to you by Wilner and O'Reilly. Immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. Nevada will begin the second half with possession. And they'll inbound to Audrey Roden. Roden into the front court. Now to Givens. Givens, a couple of pump fakes. Now drives strong. Right into the chest of Emma Calvert. Up and in. And it's 32-24. Nevada with the first points of the second half. Cougars now on offense. To Davenport in the corner. Right side. Now back to Whiting. Amari asking for the cutters. Goes to Calvert straight away. Now to Wilson. Wilson on the left side. Fakes the three. Takes a bump. No call. Lob pass down low, looking for Gustin. Gustin pushed in the back. Foul on Nevada, their first team foul. The foul called on number 23, Lexi Givens. That's her second personal foul. She has 10 points and 5 rebounds, leading the way for Nevada. They'll go right to Gustin. Gustin has her shot blocked on the attempt. And Nevada with its second possession, and right on cue... Steal by Whiting and all the way in for the layup. Excellent defense by Amari Whiting. Knocked the ball free and had a clear path all the way to the rim. 34-24, BYU back up by 10. Third quarter, one minute old. Out on the wing to Roden. Roden passes out of the double team to Lee. Lee fakes the jump shot and drives in for the layup. 34-26, BYU. Cougars quickly getting into their offensive set. Whiting to Gustin. Nice lob pass off the glass and in. They'll take it away. They'll call Gustin for the travel. And Coach Whiting is now asking for a reason as to why that was called traveling. The referee gave a quick explanation and is now into the front court watching the play develop for Nevada. Roden. Into the paint. Hands off to Lee. Lee's shot is blocked. Cougars come away with it. Excellent defense by the Cougars. Whiting has it to Calvert inside the three-point line. They'll go down to Gustin. Perfect seal by Lauren Gustin and lays it in. 36-26, BYU up 10. Gustin has done such a great job of doing that early work, sealing off the defender, and the lob pass placed perfectly. Roden, up and under move. Shot blocked. Right back to Nevada. Pass down low to Lee. Banks it in for two. 36-28, BYU by eight. Full court pressure being shown by Maxey on Whiting. Now to Woolston. Woolston pushed in the back by Roden. Team foul number two on Nevada. Roden with her second personal. 7.37 remaining in quarter number three. 
BYU shooting 52% for the game. You know, inbound to Gustin. Three-point range. And a foul called. If they gave that to Maxi or not. Roden call for the foul. So her third personal foul. And it was away from the ball. She made some contact with the cutter, Woolston, driving underneath the basket. So a, a quick substitution. they got to get Roden out with the three personal fouls. Checking into the ball game is Izzy Sullivan from Sammamish, Washington, the freshman. And Roden will take a seat. Step back three. On the way by Lauren Davenport. And she is feeling it from the perimeter today. Another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. And Davenport now with ten points. And she's two of four from three. 39-28, BYU's largest lead, now 11. Down in the post to Kennedy Lee. Lee, shot blocked by Calvert. Good defense by Emma. Now to Whiting. Whiting, lob pass to Gustin, knocked away from behind. And now Sullivan has it. Now to Givens. Givens into the front court, picks it up, three-point range. To Lee. And now on the right side of the floor, to Dominique Maxi. Maxi stops and pops. No good. Way off. Rebound. Woolston. Six and a half minutes to go in quarter three. BYU up 11. Woolston back to Calvert. Calvert will take the three from straight away. And another three by the BYU Cougars. And Calvert. Increases BYU's advantage to 42-28. BYU by 14. They ended the second quarter on a hot streak, and they've begun the third quarter the same way. Largest lead of the ball game, a 6-0 run over the last minute five by BYU. Long jump shot with five seconds left is no good by Givens. Cougars come away with it. Davenport loses the basketball. Turnover BYU. Here comes Kaylee Borden. Borden with the three. Rims out. Rebound Calvert. Calvert. Bounce pass to Whiting. Whiting. Taking some contact. Dribbles through. Out to Davenport. Another three. No good. Rebound to Maxi. Boy, the shot looked good. Maxi. Already down court. Out to Givens. Fakes the three. Instead will go on to the left side. They'll go into the corner to Maxi. Three-pointer is short. Rebound to Whiting. And a media timeout will stop play. 5.09 left in quarter number three. The Cougars leading 42-28 on a 6-0 run over the last 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Back to Springfield, Missouri after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Women's Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU 42, Nevada 28. Cougars lead is 14 with 5.09 left. This third quarter has belonged to the BYU Cougars. Four of six in this quarter. 66.7%. Conversely, Nevada just 3 of 10, shooting 30%. They're also 0 for 2 from 3. BYU 2 for 3. And BYU has the lead and the balls. Play resumes here. Nearing 5 minutes to go here in quarter number 3. Out on the wing to Gustin. Gustin now to Calvert. Calvert out to Wolston. Wide open 3 on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down by the Wolfpack. Into the hands of Tiffany Sue. Back to Givens. Thought about the three. Hands off to Victoria Davis. Davis jump shot from the free throw line. In and out. Rebound Bubakar. Rose. Bounce pass to Woolston. Now cross court back to Rose. Rose entry pass to Calvert. Immediately put it up. It was a good idea. Just bounced out. And a rebound to Nevada. Good look by Emma. Natalie Lathrop. Out on the wing to Borden. Borden defended by Matavau, who's checked into the ball game. Borden's 
Jump shot. Wildly inaccurate. And the Cougars come away with it. 42-28, exactly four minutes to go. Nevada, 0 for their last seven field goals. Pass down low, intended for Gustin, knocked out of bounds by Sue. So BYU will keep possession with 17 seconds on the shot clock. Nevada has not scored in almost four minutes. And a quick timeout. And it looks like they've extended this full, so we will take it. 42-28, BYU with the lead with 3.54 left here in quarter number three on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Jason Shepard for more BYU women's basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Mountain America Credit Union is the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Welcome back to Great Southern Bank Arena. 3.54 remaining in quarter three. BYU with the ball, 17 seconds on the shot clock, and a 42-28 lead inbound to Davenport. Jump shot from the baseline, no good. Rebound to Lexi Givens. Good look by Davenport, just missed it. And pass to Davis. Davis called for a travel before she made her move to the rim. Another turnover by the Nevada Wolfpack. Their 11th of the game. Now full court pressure being shown again. Inbound to Davenport, to Matavau. Matavau finds a wide open Lauren Gustin for the easy lay-in. Drew the defense in. Nice little underhand pass to Gustin, and she finished it. BYU up 16, 44-28. The Cougars right now playing extremely well. Sue has it. Back to Davis. Now to Roden. is checked back in. Misses the three. Rebound, Davenport. 17 points, 10 rebounds for Lauren Gustin. And Rose Bubakar is going to be called for a blocking foul. And a quick substitution for the Wolfpack. Lathrop and Sue will take a seat. Lee and Sullivan in for Nevada. BYU basketball. I think I said that foul was on Rose. It was not. It was on the defender. I apologize. Wilson, three-pointer straight away is good. Another Mountain America Credit Union three. And BYU right now has hit six threes in the ball game, And they've increased their lead. It's now 19, 47-28 Cougs. An 11-0 run by BYU over the last 4-20. And a foul's going to be called on the Cougars away from the basketball, pushing the back. 47-28, Woolston taking a seat, widening back into the ball game. It will stay with Nevada. Sullivan will inbound side out to Audrey Roden. Roden uses the screen by Lee. Pull up jump shot, no good, rebound is a jump ball between Davis and Whiting. Possession arrow points towards the Cougars. So BYU will have possession. Nevada full court press being shown. 2.43 left here in quarter three. Bubakar will inbound on the baseline. And a quick substitution for BYU. Wolston will come in, and Bubakar will check out. That means Davenport rotates over, and she will be the Cougar that will inbound the basketball. Davenport to Wolston. Roden gets in front of the pass, knocks it out of bounds. It will stay with BYU. Only one second off the shot clock. 241. On the game clock, 29 seconds on the shot clock for the Cougars. Into Whiting. Whiting to Davenport, and Dab breaks the press. And a little too much oomph on the pass down court for Matavau. And over her head and out of bounds. Still 47-28. BYU with the lead. Cougars 9-3 looking to end non-conference play. 10 and 3. 
They've got a quarter and two and a half minutes left of, of another in order to make that a reality. Out to Sullivan. Back to Davis. Into the paint. Kennedy. Up and under move. No good. Rebound. Gustin. 17 points. 11 rebounds for Lauren Gustin. Behind the back dribble by Whiting. Getting away from Davis. Picks up the dribble. Back to Davenport straight away. Davenport. Back, a backdoor cut by Woolston. Woolston stopped. But the pass was still made. Just not on the same page there. And it will be Nevada basketball. Matavau out. And Emma Calvert back in for the Cougars. BYU with two players in double figures. Gustin with 17. Davenport with 10. Out on the wing for Nevada. To Victoria Davis. Davis into Lee. Lee out to Sullivan. She'll take a three. Too strong. Rebound Calvert. Emma outlet pass to Whiting. Down court to Davenport. BYU quickly into the front court. Into the post to Gustin. Up and under move is good. Gustin now puts BYU in front by 21 points. 49-28 Cougars. And Gustin with her 19th point of the game to go along with 11 boards. Her 67th career double-double. Out to Sullivan. Three from the right side. And that's good. And if Nevada ever needed points. They needed it there. That ended a 13-0 run by the the BYU Cougars. It's now 49-31, an 18-point advantage by BYU. Down low for Calvert, knocked away by the Wolfpack. Good defense by Nevada. Davis all the way to the rim and in. So a quick 5-0 run by Nevada after falling... By down by 21. Under 40 seconds left here in the quarter. BYU up 18 with the ball. Whiting crossing midcourt. Woolston sets the screen. Roden switches over. Pass back to Woolston and out of Calvert. Cougars swing it to the right side of the court. 15 seconds for a shot. Davenport has it to Woolston. Defended by Davis. To Gustin. Gustin to Calvert. Calvert fouled on the shot. It will not go. Emma will get two free throws. And our free throw is brought to you by Zions Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zions Bank is for you. And two free throws for Emma Calvert. And BYU has only shot four free throws in this game. And all have been taken by Gustin. First free throw by Calvert is good. Emma now with six points and eight rebounds. Calvert with the bounce. And the second free throw is up and good. Two for two at the line for Calvert. Emma, seven points, eight rebounds, and an assist. Ten seconds left. BYU up 51-33, up 18. Roden drives strong. She's fouled on the layup attempt, and she'll get two free throws with six seconds exactly left in the third quarter. The Cougars have hit their last three field goals. They're shooting 53% from the floor, 40% from three. They're six of 15. First free throw is no good by Audrey Roden. She's a 65% free throw shooter. Second free throw is up and good, so splits a pair. BYU with six seconds left here in quarter number three. They lead by 17, 51-34, BYU. Nevada getting ready for the full court press into Whiting. Four seconds. We'll see if the Cougars can get a shot off. Two seconds. Whiting at midcourt. Throws it up from half court. Hits the front of the rim. That came close. But that's how the third quarter will end. And it was a good one for the BYU Cougars. They outscored Nevada by 7, 19-12 in quarter number three. And BYU will take a 17-point advantage to quarter number four. 51-34 Cougars on the new skin. BYU Sports Network.